students welcome to all fours e learning botany classes in today's session we are going to discuss about a corolla what's a corolla corolla see this diagram okay sir in this uh, diagram okay in this diagram you can see a complete flower which flower sir complete flower you can see a complete flower you can see a complete flower in this complete flower who is the outermost whole sir calyx what comes after calyx corolla corolla sir calyx and corolla these two are non essential organs of a flower in this two non essential organs who is outermost calyx who is inner corolla i am not saying corolla is the innermost whole of the flower i am saying corolla is the innermost whole of non essential organs of a flower in non essential organs corolla is innermost sir this calyx is at first node corolla is at second node corolla is at second node sir this corolla right it is colorful due to the presence of pigments so it attracts the what it attracts the animals for pollination attracts the animals for what sir pollination cross pollination sir what is the unit of corolla corolla is made up of petals corolla is made up of what sir petals right we are discussing what sir corolla sir corolla it is the inner most right it is the inner most uh, what sir all it is the inner most all of a uh, what non essential organs of a flower okay it is the inner most all of non essential organs of a flower right sir this uh, corolla Presented which node I told second node. Therefore, floral leaves, uh, floral leaves uh, present at uh, floral leaves present at uh, second node. Present at second node. Where on thalamus. Therefore, on thalamus at which node sir? Second node. Right. Who is present sir? Corolla. Okay. Right. sir this corolla how it is sir it is colorful yes or no due to the presence of pigments therefore colored due to due to pigments okay right sir as it is colored what it do sir as it is colored it attracts what animals for cross pollination okay therefore attracts attracts what animals attracts animals especially insects especially insects for what sir for cross pollination sir why they are attracting the animals or insects for the purpose of cross pollination okay sir this corolla is made up of what petals therefore what is the unit of a corolla sir petals unit of a corolla unit of what sir corolla unit of corolla is a petals what is a unit of corolla called as a petals sir this petals they may be either free or fused petals may be either free or fused petals may be either free or fused sir free petals free petals polypetalous condition fused petals gametopetalous condition if petals are free polypetalous petals are fused gametopetalous therefore petals may be free or fused petals uh, may be what petals may be free or fused petals may be free or what sir fused petals may be free or fused okay right sir free petals called as what 
polypetals fused petals called as what gamopetals right therefore two conditions polypetals second one is gamopetals right what they are sir first one is a uh, right uh, polypetals poly petals polypetals second one is a uh, gamopetals what is the second one gamopetals go for the first one sir polypetals means uh, petals are free petals are free petals are free it means free petals right what are free sir petals are free free petals now go for gamopetals gamopetals petals are fused what are fused sir petals are fused therefore here fused petals are present what are present fused petals are present fused petals are present okay now go for write examples of polypetals and gamopetals condition now listen one statement first sir this corolla it is represented by symbol corolla is represented by symbol c corolla is represented by symbol what sir c corolla represented by symbol c okay now go for examples of a polypetals condition examples of a polypetals condition okay number 1 malvesi family which family sir malvesi family sir in case of malvesi family this corolla contains a right five petals this five petals are free so i am not keeping this five inside the brackets as five petals are free i am not keeping this five inside the brackets therefore c5 what it indicates corolla with five petals which are free how you are saying they are free sir as they are not inside the bracket okay now go for the second example what sir fabesi family which family sir fabesi family sir in case of fabesi family the calyx is with okay corolla in case of fabesi family the corolla is with how many petals corolla is with five petals corolla is with five petals corolla is with how many petals sir corolla is with how many petals five petals sir what are that five petals sir see here sir the five petals are arranged in 1 plus 2 plus 2 condition that five petals are arranged in 1 plus 2 plus 2 condition sir this is one type of petal standard petal we will get about this type of petals in detail later in this chapter we will discuss there okay just to remember this is one type of petal standard petal these are two petals one type of petals okay these two petals are one type of petals okay called as a called as a wing petals called as what sir wing petals wing petals these two are one type of petals called as keel petals k e e l keel petals therefore sir how many petals are present here 1 plus 2 3 plus 2 5 therefore five petals are present in this five petals one is standard petal two are wing petals two are keel petals two are keel petals these two keel petals are partially fused these two keel petals are partially fused that's why i kept these two inside the brackets inside the brackets okay right now go for the next example what sir brassicaceae family which family sir brassicaceae family sir in the case of brassicaceae family right corolla is with uh, how many petals sir corolla corolla with uh, how many petals sir corolla with uh, four petals corolla is with four petals these four petals are free so it comes under polypetals condition 
Now go for gamopetalus corolla. Gamopetalus corolla. Go for examples of gamopetalus corolla. First one is Asteraceae family. Which family, sir? Asteraceae family. Asteraceae family. Sir, in case of Asteraceae family, okay, right, corolla contains how many petals? Five petals. These five petals are fused. So, I kept the five inside the brackets. Asteraceae family. C. Corolla. How many petals? Five petals. Three are fused. Fused. So, I kept this five in the brackets. Okay. Now, go for the next family. But sir, Solanaceae family, I am writing examples for gamopetalus condition. First one is Asteraceae, second one is Solanaceae. Sir, in case of Solanaceae, Corolla with how many? Corolla with how many petals? Five petals. These five petals are fused. So, I kept these five inside the brackets. Is it okay? Right? Therefore, Asteraceae family, Solanaceae family. Examples for gamopetalus condition. Examples for gamopetalus condition. Now, statement is very, very important. Listen carefully. Sir, in a dicot, if petals are free, in a dicot, if petals are free, that dicots are placed under a subclass polypetale polypetale sir in dicots if petals are fused that dicots are placed under a subclass gamopetale therefore polypetale is a subclass of dicots gamopetale is also a subclass of what sir dicots right now what is the statement i told just now dicots what's that dicots dicots with with free petals dicots with which petals sir free petals free petals means which condition sir free petals means polypetalous condition polypetalous condition dicots with free petals placed in which subclass placed in subclass placed in subclass what polypetale therefore polypetale is a subclass okay right sir dicots with a dicots with a what sir fused petals dicots with fused petals Sir, here petals are fused. What are fused, sir? Petals are fused. Petals are fused. Petals are fused means what is the condition, sir? Gamopetalous condition. Gamopetalous condition. Sir, dicots with the fused petals placed. Placed in which subclass? Gamopetale subclass. Gamo petale subclass placed in gamopetale what sir subclass gamopetale subclass is it okay therefore polypetale and gamopetale these are two subclasses in dicots sir dicots dicotalidane it is a class yes or no right therefore sir polypetale and gamopetale these are two subclasses of dicots sir a dicots with a, a dicot with a free petals placed under polypetale subclass. A dicot with fused petals placed under a subclass gamopetale. Placed under a subclass what sir? Gamopetale. Now, what are parts of a petal? Parts of a petal. Parts of a what sir? Petal. Parts of a petal. Sir, if you take a petal, if you take a petal, a petal is with two parts. A petal is with how many parts, sir? Two parts. What are the two parts, sir? First one is claw. Second one is limb. L-I-M-B. Limb. Therefore, petal with how many parts? Two parts. What and what, sir? Claw and limb. Sir, in these two, you see the diagram. Who is narrow? 
claw is narrow. Who is expanded? Limb is expanded. Yes or no? Therefore, claw is narrow. Then how the limb is, sir? This limb is expanded. It is expanded. It is expanded. Sir, who is proximal? Who is distal, sir? This claw is proximal. It is proximal. Whereas this limb is distal. Limb is distal. Okay. Therefore, a petal is with how many parts? Two parts. What are they? Claw and limb. Who is narrow and proximal? Claw is narrow and proximal. Whereas the limb is expanded, right? Distal end of the petal, right? Now, see, this is a petal. This is a petal. In this petal, this uh, right narrow proximal end is called as a claw. Whereas this expanded distal end, this expanded distal end is called as a what, sir? It is called as limb. What it is called as? Limb. Therefore, this is a petal. In this petal, this narrow proximal end is claw. Whereas this expanded distal end is called as limb. Right? Now, go for shapes of corolla. What sir? Shapes of corolla. Right? Go for the first one. Cruci form. Corolla. What is the first one, sir? Cruci form Corolla. Cruci form Corolla. See here, Corolla means made up of what, sir? Petals. See how many petals are there here? Four petals. Sir, these four petals are free or fused, sir? They are free. See? They are free. Sir, this Corolla, it shows a what, sir? Actinomorphic symmetry. Shows which symmetry, sir? Actinomorphic symmetry. Strictly speaking, this cruciform corolla is present in a flower, present in a flower which shows actinomorphic symmetry, which shows actinomorphic symmetry, right? Sir, how many petals? Four petals. Four petals. Free or fused, sir? Free petals, free petals. Therefore, polypetalus, polypetalus. Sir, this cruciform corolla is seen in a flower which shows a actinomorphic symmetry. I already told you what is the meaning of actinomorphic symmetry. What is sir? Actinomorphic symmetry. Actinomorphic symmetry. Sir, what is the meaning of cruciform corolla, sir? Here, how many petals are there? Four petals. These four petals, they are arranged like a cross. Cross. Diagonally. Diagonally, see? Therefore, four petals arranged diagonally. Okay, right? Therefore, four petals four petals arranged arranged how sir diagonally arranged diagonally okay these four petals they are arranged diagonally right like a cross okay like a Cross, they are arranged diagonally. That corolla is called as a cruciform corolla. Sir, what is the example for this cruciform corolla? Example for cruciform corolla. Example for cruciform corolla. Brassicaceae. What is the example for cruciform corolla, sir? Brassicaceae. Sir, here I wrote the family name. It means you can take any plant from this family. Any plant from this family. I am taking two plants from this family. Mustard, radish. What and what, sir? Mustard and radish. Two examples I wrote for this family. Sir, what is the previous name of Brassicaceae family? Previous name of Brassicaceae family. What is the previous name of Brassicaceae family, sir? 
Cruci, Cruci Ferre family. What is the previous name of Brassicaceae family? Cruci Ferre family. Why it got this Cruci Ferre name, sir? Due to the presence of Cruci form Corolla. Therefore, Cruci Ferre family. Why this family got this name? Why this family got this name, sir? Due to due to Cruci form shaped Corolla. Due to Cruci form shaped Corolla. It means this family got the name due to the shape of the Corolla. Due to the shape of the Corolla. What shape? Cruci form shape. Okay. Now go for number two, second one. We are discussing shapes of Corolla, right? Number two, Karyophilaceous or Karyophilaceous Corolla. Karyophilaceous Corolla. Karyophilaceous, what sir? Corolla. Sir, here how many petals are present, sir? Here five petals are present. Five petals are present. Five petals are present. Sir, these five petals are free. So, I am calling the condition as what? Polypetalous. What is the condition, sir? Polypetalous. Polypetalous. Okay. Sir, this corolla is present in a flower which shows actinomorphic symmetry. Present in a flower which shows a, which symmetry, sir? Actinomorphic symmetry. Flower which shows actinomorphic symmetry. Actinomorphic symmetry. Okay, right. Sir, what is the speciality of this karyophilaceous corolla, sir? In this karyophilaceous corolla, in case of what, sir? Karyophilaceous corolla. In the case of karyophilaceous corolla, if you see each petal, if you see each petal, how the petal will be means, sir, what is this one? Limb. What is this one? Claw. Yes or no? Limb is placed at 90 degrees to claw. What is placed at 90 degrees to claw? This limb. You can see here. Okay. A limb is at right angle perpendicular to claw in the case of what sir karyophilaceous corolla therefore in karyophilaceous corolla what happens sir how it is sir limb limb is at uh, 90 degrees right angle perpendicular to claw okay what is the example for Right, uh, karyophilaceous corolla. I am writing example for karyophilaceous corolla, dianthus. What it is, sir? Dianthus, dianthus, right? Go for the third one. We are discussing shapes of corolla. Go for the third one. Rosaceous. What it is, sir? Rosaceous corolla. Rosaceous corolla. Rosaceous corolla. Sir, here also, right, how many petals are present, sir? Here, number of petals may be five or many. Therefore, five or many petals. Five or many petals. Sir, do you saw a rose flower? In rose flower, petals are free. Therefore, what is the condition? Polypetalous condition. Polypetalous condition. Sir, this rosaceous corolla is also seen in flowers which shows a, what sir? Which shows a actinomorphic symmetry. Flowers which shows what sir? Actinomorphic symmetry. Flowers which shows actinomorphic symmetry. Sir, in the case of rosaceous corolla, rosaceous corolla, you cannot see the claw and limb clearly. Take a rose petal and try to differentiate claw and limb in the case of a rose petal. It's not possible because we cannot see them clearly. We cannot differentiate them clearly. Okay. Therefore, what and what are not clear, sir? Claw and uh, limb are not are what 
not seen clearly what and what are not seen clearly sir claw and limb they are not seen clearly sir rosaceous corolla i am writing examples first one is rose second one is coconut what and what sir rose and coconut do you saw rose flower in case of rose flower overlapping of petals is seen one petal overlaps another petal therefore in the case of rosaceous corolla in the case of which corolla sir rosaceous corolla overlapping of petals what overlapping of petals overlapping of petals is seen overlapping of petals is seen in the case of rosaceous corolla okay now go for next one number 4 go for the fourth one companionate companionate corolla what is sir companionate corolla also called as bell shaped corolla what shaped sir bell shaped corolla bell shaped corolla okay right sir companionate corolla or bell shaped corolla right here also the corolla is with five petals sir five petals but these five petals are fused therefore gamopetalous 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 sir this companionate corolla is present in a flower which shows a actinomorphic symmetry which shows which symmetry sir actinomorphic symmetry which shows actinomorphic symmetry sir just now i told here five petals are present this five petals are fused five petals are fused to form a bell shaped corolla five petals are fused to form a bell shaped corolla called as companionate corolla okay therefore petals fused petals fused petals fused to form petals fused to form a what shaped corolla bell shaped corolla bell shaped corolla okay what are the example for right companionate or bell shaped corolla sir campanula campanula second example is tobacco what and what sir campanula and tobacco these two are examples for campanulate corolla or bell shaped corolla right now go for the next one right number 5 funnel shaped corolla funnel what sir funnel shaped corolla funnel shaped corolla funnel shaped corolla sir funnel shaped corolla is also called as a infundi infundibuli infundibuli form corolla what it is called as sir it is also called as infundibuli form corolla infundibuli form corolla sir in this corolla how many petals are present sir here five petals are present five petals sir these five petals are fused gamopetalous 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 sir this corolla is present in a flower which shows a which shows a actinomorphic symmetry which shows a which symmetry sir actinomorphic symmetry how many petals five petals they are fused to form a funnel shaped corolla therefore petals are fused what sir petals are fused petals are fused okay to form to form what shaped corolla sir to form funnel shaped corolla to form funnel shaped corolla 
Sir, this funnel-shaped corolla or infundibuliform corolla, I am writing examples. Okay. First one is Datura. What, sir? Datura. Second one is Petunia. What is the second example, sir? Petunia. Therefore, Datura and Petunia examples for funnel-shaped corolla. Sir, this Datura and Petunia both comes under which family, sir? Solanaceae family. Both comes under Solanaceae family. Okay. Next one. We are discussing shapes of corolla. Right. Go for next shape of corolla. What, sir? Tubular corolla. It means uh, here corolla is what like, sir? Tube-like. Corolla is tube-like. Okay. Right. Sir, here how many petals are present, sir? Here also five petals are present. These five petals are fused, sir. Therefore, gamopetalous condition. Which condition? Gamopetalous condition. Sir, this tubular corolla is shown by a flower. Shown by a flower. Okay, which shows actinomorphic symmetry. Which shows actinomorphic symmetry. Which shows actinomorphic symmetry. Okay, sir, tubular corolla. Here petals are fused. Petals are fused to form a tube-like corolla. Petals are fused to form petals fused to form what like corolla tube like corolla to form tube like corolla okay sir tubular corolla i am writing the example disc florets of asteraceae family what sir disc florets disc florets of which family sir Asteraceae family. Sir, in Asteraceae family, flowers are called as what? Florets. Florets are of how many types? We read in inflorescence, no? Ray florets and disc florets. Sir, here tubular corolla is seen in which florets, sir? Disc florets of Asteraceae family. Disc florets of Asteraceae family. Right? For number seven, ligulate. What, sir? Ligulate corolla. Ligulate uh, corolla. Sir, ligule means tongue. Ligule means what, sir? Tongue. Now listen here. Sir, here also how many petals are present, sir? Five petals are present. Okay. How many petals? Five petals. Sir, out of five petals, uh, two petals are completely reduced. Two petals are completely reduced how many petals are completely reduced two petals are completely reduced whereas remaining how many five minus two three no therefore remaining three petals are fused three petals are fused to form to form a ligule what is the meaning of ligule sir ligule means tongue Therefore, your petals are fused, no? Therefore, what is the condition, sir? Gamopetalous. Gamopetalous condition. Okay, sir. This ligulate corolla is present. This ligulate corolla is present in a flower which shows zygomorphic symmetry. Which shows what, sir? Zygo. Which shows zygomorphic symmetry. Shows which symmetry, sir? Zygomorphic symmetry. Which shows zygomorphic symmetry. What is the example for ligulate corolla? Example for ligulate corolla. Ray florets. Ray florets of Asteraceae family. Sir, disc florets of Asteraceae family shows tubular corolla. Ray florets of Asteraceae family shows ligulate corolla. Okay. Now go for number 8. Rotate. What sir? Rotate shaped corolla. Rotate shaped corolla. Sir, here also 5. 5 petals are present. 5 petals are present. 
दिस फाइव पेटल्स आर फ्यूज सर देर फोर गैमो पेटालस कंडीशन गैमो पेटालस कंडीशन ओके सर दिस रोटेट करोला इज प्रजेंट राइट इन ए फ्लवर विच शोज एक्टिनोमार्फिक सिमेट्री एक्टिनोमार्फिक सिमेट्री विच सिमेट्री सर एक्टिनोमार्फिक सिमेट्री सर हियर हाउ मेनी पेटल्स आर प्रेजेंट फाइव पेटल्स फ्री आर फ्यूज फ्यूज दे आर फ्यूज टू फॉर्म ए व्हील शेप्ड करोला दट व्हील शेप्ड करोला इज कॉल्ड एज रोटेट करोला ओके देर फॉर पेटल्स फ्यूज पेटल्स फ्यूज टू फॉर्म पेटल्स फ्यूज टू फॉर्म वाट शेप्ड करोला सर व्हील शेप्ड व्हील शेप्ड करोला पेटल्स फ्यूज टू फॉर्म व्हील शेप्ड करोला व्हील शेप्ड करोला ओके गो फॉर द एग्जाम्पल फॉर रोटेट करोला सोलानम सोलानम मेलॉन्जिना वट इज द एग्जाम्पल सर सोलानम मेलॉन्जिना सर वट इज द कामन नेम ऑफ सोलानम मेलॉन्जिना ब्रिंजॉल comes under which family solanaceae family comes under family solanaceae right now go for the next one number 9 bilipped corolla sir this bilipped corolla bilipped corolla is also called as bilabiate corolla by labiate corolla by labiate corolla Sir, here corolla is with how many petals, sir? Here five petals are present. Sir, these five petals are fused. Therefore, condition becomes what, sir? Gamopetalous condition. What is the condition, sir? Gamopetalous condition. Which condition, sir? Gamopetalous condition. Name itself indicates by lipped corolla. It means petals are fused to form. lip like corolla okay lips like corolla therefore petals fused petals fused to form petals fused to form lips like corolla lips like what sir corolla lips like corolla sir what is the example for bilipped corolla or bilabiate corolla sir number 1 Asimum. Asimum means tulasi. Asimum tulasi. Second one is a salvia. What is the second one, sir? Salvia. Should be careful. This is not salvinia. This is not salvinia. It's a salvia. Therefore, asimum and salvia are examples for bilipped corolla or bilabiate corolla. Right? Stay home. Stay safe. Thank you.